Homemade holiday gifts from the kitchen are always a hands-down winner. This year I've discovered something a little bit different that I'm giving out as gifts. They're chocolate dipped peanut butter pretzel sandwiches. They're easy to make, they don't take long, and one batch makes a ton, about 11 or 12 dozen of them, so you can get lots of gifts making it just once. Now to make these, there's just a few ingredients that you need. First of all, I have these chocolate wafer melts, and you can find these in the grocery store. If you are in a store that sells cake and candy supplies, you can get the chocolate melts there, and I like to look for the ones that are real chocolate because they have the best flavor. Now to that, I'm going to add about half cup of bittersweet chocolate morsels. And I like to use the bittersweet, which are a little bit more chocolatey and rich than semi-sweet, but they just add a nice richness to the flavor of the chocolate once it's melted. So I'm gonna put this big bowl in the microwave for about two or three minutes. I'll stir it every minute. When it's melted, I'll show you what we'll do next. So it's all melted. Now at this point, we dump in two eight ounce bags of pretzel peanut butter sandwiches that are in the grocery stores. There, they look all coated well with the chocolate. Then just take a fork and lay them in a single layer on a wax paper lined baking sheet. Then I'm going to melt three quarter cup of peanut butter chips with a little bit of shortening melt it in the microwave, and then I'll be drizzling it over the top. It only takes probably less than a minute for these to melt. Peanut butter chips are melted, ready to go, but before I do the little drizzle, I'm going to sprinkle some chopped salted peanuts over the top of these little chocolate dipped sandwiches. And then I've lined just a drinking glass with a zip top sandwich bag, and I'm going to use that for my drizzling. I'll show you how easy this is and just pull it out, zip up the top, kind of move it down into one corner and then just cut a tiny little piece off of the end of the bag. There we go. And look at how easy it is to drizzle. There we go. At least you got the idea for that, how that works. There we go. Now they're ready to be chilled and then you can eat them put them out on your counter in a pretty bowl. They won't last long because they're really addictive. Or put them into a cellophane bag and use them as a gift. They're just delicious. And it's a homemade gift from your kitchen. The recipe will be on our website. I'm Sue Doden and I'm all about food.